Today we're going to be testing out a tempered glass screen protector for the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra made by Gadadol. Now I've done reviews on Gadadol screen protectors in the past on past Galaxy Ultra devices and everybody seems to like them. They do also seem to do pretty good in the drop test so hopefully this continues today. But make sure you stick around until the end of the video because again I will be doing a drop and a scratch test to see how durable the screen protector really is and I promise you by the end of this video you'll know whether or not the screen protector is right for you. And if you guys want to pick it up yourself I will be putting product links in the video description. So let's get started. So we get three tempered glass screen protectors, an installation guide, two tempered glass rear camera protectors, and our installation tools. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to clean off the screen really well with an alcohol wipe, then dry it off, then take your installation guide, making sure the top goes towards the camera on your phone, we'll press this into place, take one of your screen protectors, peel off the protective layer underneath, and then place it inside the guide. Run your finger down the middle, Push down on the screen of the phone, lift up on the guide, and then remove any bubbles you might see on the screen. I do have a little bubble on the side that I'm just going to use a squeegee that I had to get out. You can use your finger or a credit card. And it came out very easily. So installation was pretty easy. I don't see any bubbles, no lifting. There's also a cutout for your front camera as well. As far as the touch, Feels nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone. For fingerprints, it does seem to pick up some fingerprints on the screen, but you can very easily just wipe those away. Very nice. The edges of the glass are also rounded off. Let's test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working so far. No problems with fingerprints. As you can see, the screen is crystal clear. No problems with touch. Everything seems to be working just fine. Let's test out our S Pen. S Pen works perfectly fine with the screen protector. There is a slight bit of resistance, but working good. Now let's take a look at what the screen looks like through the lenses of polarized sunglasses. As you can see, there is a slight rainbow effect if you twist and turn the phone, but if you're looking at it dead on, it's really pretty clear. Let's put it in our case. There is still a slight gap all the way around the phone for case compatibility. It's not actually touching the case. There's no lifting, no bubbles, so it should be case friendly with most cases. So now let's install the rear camera protectors. So make sure you clean off your camera lenses really well, then dry them off. Then take your camera lens protector, put it the way that the camera lenses are on the back of the phone. We're gonna peel off the back protector and then just place this over your camera lenses and press them into place. And there you go. Now, I don't think it looks as good as the single camera lenses on the phone, but it is going to protect your lenses and it doesn't add much height to the camera lenses either. So let's test out our camera on our phone. So it does look pretty clear to me. I don't think you're going to have any issues with taking pictures. And I think it looks pretty good. Then let's test out the scratch resistance. So we're going to start off with a number five, and then move on to a number six, and then a number seven. And if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at a number six and a little deeper at a number seven. So again, scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. Now let's see how it fits inside of our case. So it seems to fit perfectly inside this case, but you're only going to be able to use this protector with cases that don't have the individual cutouts for the camera and have this nice big cutout for your camera lenses. So that's just something to keep in mind, but it should be case friendly with these types of cases. 
All right, so far so good. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. So we're going to be dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of two feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at two feet. Moving on to three feet. Four feet. Five feet. Six feet. Seven feet. Seven feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a seven foot drop. Now let's move on to the scratch test. So typically tempered glass starts to scratch around the most hardness, number six. So we're gonna start off with the number five. We'll move on to a number six. And then a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at a number six and a little deeper at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So installation for the screen protector was really easy. It also does seem to work well with the in-display fingerprint sensor and the S Pen. It also seems to be case friendly. It lasted up until a seven foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of the screen protector. It's pretty good all around. And if you guys want to pick it up yourself, I will be putting a product link in the video description. If you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.